The Bull Arab, commonly known as Australian Pig Dog, is an excellent hunter, good guard dog and loyal companion. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Bull Arab. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Bull Arab and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. Number 1. Origin The Bull Arab is a relatively young dog breed with its origin in 1970s in Australia. The man who is credited for developing this breed is Mike Hodgins, who crossed together several dog breeds including Bull Terrier, English Greyhound and German Shorthaired Pointer. The Bull Arab was originally developed to catch feral pigs, which is their main utilization even today. Number 2. Types Mike Hodgins stopped breeding Bull Arabs in 1980s and since then many different lines of this breed arose. Most of them can be located in two Australian states, Queensland and New South Wales. All the lines are similar together but not identical. For example Gary Anderson's line is known to have a small percentage of Mastiff which gives the dog bigger size. And for example the Paulson line is said to have a small percentage of Bloodhound which should give the dog even better sense of smell. But all the dogs should have similar temperamental characteristics. Number 3. Hunters So as you already know, these dogs were developed for hunt and they are great hunters. They are commonly known as Australian pig dogs and indeed majority of them is hunting feral pigs. But they were used to work with feral horses, scrub bulls or Australian buffaloes as well with great results. When they are hunting, their main weapon is their excellent sense of smell. When they catch a hot scent, they follow it and start catching the boar. They do not kill it, but rather hold it and subdue it until the hunter's arrival. By the way, it is said that these dogs are able to locate feral pigs as far as 4 to 6 kilometers away by the smell. Majority of these dogs are still bred for work rather than for companionship. Number 4. Versatility even though the main utilization of Bull Arab is hunting, this is a very versatile breed capable of working in many different fields as well. Their powerful nose makes them great adepts for tracking and search and rescue job. Their loyalty, alertness and big strength is a reason why they can be trained to be extraordinary protectors and guard dogs. These dogs have also potential for being good police dogs and of course, with proper socialization and training, they make very good obedient, lively and loyal family companions. Number 5. Exercise as you can probably imagine, these dogs have high energy and exercise needs. Especially if you have this dog as a companion and you are not using it for the hunt, then you will have to provide the dog a lot of outdoor exercise, long walks, hikes, jogs, lots of playtime and regular fun training sessions. These dogs are really full of energy and you must exercise them on a daily basis, otherwise they will find some other way how to deal with the energy and you will probably not like it, because it can include excessive barking, digging or destruction. Number 6. Size The Bull Arab is a strong and muscular but also very athletic, agile and symmetrical dog breed with average height between 24 to 27 inches, which is 60 to 68 centimeters, and weight is usually between 30 to 50 kilograms, which is 66 to 110 pounds. Females tend to be slightly smaller than males. Number 7. Coat the Bull Arab has a short and smooth coat which gets a little bit softer and denser during the winter, but it should never be too soft, long or fluffy. Most Bull Arabs have predominantly white coat with patches of tan, black or brown. Some Bull Arabs are also brindle. Number 8. Companion well, the Bull Arab can be an amazing companion dog which is very loyal, playful and affectionate and that can even be a good partner for older kids. But this is definitely not a dog for novices because they need proper early training and socialization so they do not become overprotective, aggressive and territorial. This is a very strong dog so they need a strong leader who will show them some boundaries and that will train them with patience and consistency, firmly but kindly. This breed has the same bad reputation as pit bulls and some other breeds and many people think about them that they are aggressive and vicious, but just like with all dogs this is mostly due to the bad leadership and bad socialization and training. With the right owner the Bull Arab is quite easily trainable and it's not a problematic dog at all. Number 9. Maintenance 
The grooming and overall maintenance couldn't be much easier than with the Bull Arab. Regular weekly brushing is beneficial for the coat as it will remove any dirt and dead hair from it, but even without any grooming the coat will still look great. Just like with all dogs, you should regularly check the ears, eyes, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Rescue if you are thinking about getting a bull arab as a companion dog, you can consider adopting one. Apparently there are many bull arabs and bull arab crosses all over the Australia which are waiting for rescue. You can check out bull arab rescue website for more information. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the bull arab and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocker Dogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.